Uh, come on, we'll smell that this way. Meat. Come here. Good job. Look at that gap. Yay! We're gonna talk about like pedals. You know? Stop, stop, stop. I mean, I guess it does look better than this. <laughs> this is a box. No, no, this is the booty, the new booty grocery bar. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So guys, today we are going to talk about pedals. 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 Okay, first off, real simple. Let's talk about the different type of pedals. These right here, they're called cage pedal. Why? Because there's a cage. You can remove the cage. When it gets damaged, you get dead, you can remove it and change it. These ones right here are, are riveted, but you could still change it if you know how to do the rivet. But cage pedals. Then you go and you start talking about platform pedals. These are platform pedals. Those are the two different types. Because I don't have it here, but there's also clip pedals. But we're not talking about clip. We're just talking about like regular BMX style pedal. Cage and platform. So these are platforms, platforms, platform. This, I, I, I don't know what to call these. Platform, cage, like. God. So, also, platform. So, now that we talk about those two different one that took us forever to explain, now we're gonna talk about the different material. Most of the pedal you see, they're gonna be made out, out of aluminum. Same thing with the cage pedal. It's an aluminum body with an aluminum cage. Metal aluminum body, this is CNC, machined, casted, and forged by the great god Zeus. I, 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 I don't even know who makes this. Somebody, some, some guy chiseled this. The guy that made the pyramids. Okay. And then you got plastic. It's more like graphite, not plastic. I would say that the material on this thing is very similar to the, the plastic sleeves on a peg. So the next thing we'll talk about is why metal, why plastic? A lot of people tend to think that the metal grips better than the plastic. In a sense, yes and no. The metal grips better because look at those pins. And then you go and you look at the plastic ones. But I buy the plastic and I'm, I'm always slipping. I'm always slipping. Well, one of the reasons why you're always slipping is not, not because the pins are so small, but the type of shoe you're wearing. If you're wearing a shoe that is vulcanized, these pins won't fit into that little those little groove. That's why if you look at if you look at the vans, do have, what, what do you have on? Nike. Nike. Let me see your soul. Let me see your soul. Let me see this. They're hot. Yeah. So you look at this. You see there these little groove. Oh my god. I told you. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> woo. So you look at this, and you see how the little pins it fits into these little grooves. Look, it's not moving. But then when you're looking at these right here, look at the big pins. They don't, they don't fit as good. It's not because it's plastic, it's because the pins. So then, so then you might be wondering, well then, what's the point? You're fucking smelling his shoes. You asked for it. Ah, don't make me pull your wrestling ah. shoes out. Give me one second, guys. I'm gonna go grab a uh, sample. Max's shoes. These guys, dude, their, their feet smells. Hold on, can we, we see your shoes? Dude, I'm in, they, I'm they, in real. You ain't CrossFit. CrossFit, you haven't been yeah. in a day. It smells bad as the pads. So, the reason why I got some Vans, because if you look at the Vans, you look how, how porous it is, I guess. Look at this. See, it sticks. All these pins, they fit into all these little grooves. See that? And this fits. That's why everybody likes to ride in vans, okay? And let's just let you guys know, vans that didn't pay me, didn't endorse me. There's a lot of shoes out there that have similar kind of tread that works. And you could see the shoes that Alfredo's on, it has way more, more tread than this, but it didn't stick. So it's not because of plastic. Oh, you know, plastic slip, plastic sliding grip. No, it's the type of shoe you're wearing. So it sticks. So there's that type. Now there is also two different type of pedals, not the material, but two different types. There is a sealed and an unsealed. 
The way you could tell if something is sealed is if you look. See the plastic caps? Plastic caps? Those usually are a good indication that they're unsealed. Anything that has metal caps, metal caps, even this plastic one, the Dennis Anderson, Harold Dennis Anderson one, it's metal. It's sealed. Let me try to let me try to crack one of these open. You guys can see it's a number six, just like a stem. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. You see inside, I don't know if you guys can clearly see it, but there's a tiny little seal bearing. It's almost like the bearing that's inside your bottom bracket. Well, some of you guys might be wondering, why are seal bearing pedals cost so much more than unsealed? Well, the bearings themselves inside here, there's little, little tiny ball bearings that's inside here. There's an Odyssey one that we popped out already. It looks very similar to what I was showing you guys. There's little tiny loose balls. Sealed one, it requires a lot of machining where you machine the body of the pedals so the seal bearing could plop in. The other indication of something that is sealed is the spindle. This is the spindle that goes into the crank. If you see a spindle that's normally like this color, like black, now guys, there are some exceptions to the rule, but usually, usually, if the if the spindle is dark and black like this, that means it's unsealed. If you notice, these guys right here, silver, silver, this one's black, but it's an anodized black. It's sealed. This one is not anodized black. It's just, it's ED coated. It's like an electro coat. I don't know, what, I forgot what ED says. Somebody, Tell me what ED coating is, but that usually means that it's unsealed. The other part that separates the two different pedal is size. I'm not talking about the body size. See how the body on this and the body on this is different? The body on this and the body on this is different? No, I'm not talking about that size. I'm talking about the spindle size. Look at the two different size. Can you guys see the difference? Pedal comes in two different size spindle. Half inch, nine sixteenths. Okay, so what? Nine sixteenths usually refers to one piece crank. A one piece crank comes on a beach cruiser, a very, very low level bike or an old school bike. All one piece is half size. All one piece. I, I mean, I could be wrong, guys. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but I myself have never seen a 916 one piece unless it's modified. This one actually, as a matter of fact, been modified to make it into a 916 by a friend of ours because he wants to use more different type of pedals. But for the most, all the one piece out there, they're all half size. Now, 916 is pretty much all these pedals. And every three piece crank uses a 916. I think the only the only one that I've ever seen is on a United 12 inch. They use a three a three piece crank, they use a half. Then that I was I was like kind of fascinated. But three piece crank, 916. One piece crank half the other part of it is has to do with size too but the size of the wrench that you need to take it off 99 percent 99.9 percent of the pedals everywhere everywhere around the world they even make a tool for it 15 15 even this crazy monster one 15 but but there are some exceptions to the rule. It's the command, the federal command pedal, guys. They use a 17. The, I wish I were trying to look for some DAC pedal, the Colt DAX. Of course, we're sold out because they're badass pedals, but they use a 17 wrench instead of a 15. Why? So you get a little bit more bite when you're removing it. But for the most, they're all 15. The other thing is, if you don't have a wrench, right in the back of them, it's a number six to turn it out. Now that, again, that's for the most pedals. 
some of the pedals, like the Spank one, they actually use a number eight and it doesn't use a wrench. See how smooth? And same thing with the Dennis Anderson, the Harlow Dennis Anderson one. They don't have it. All they have is a number eight and a number six. I preferably like the option of having the wrench and the Allen. Again, if you guys watch my crank tutorial, I like to have options. So this one right here has a 15 or a number six. So if one fails, the other one open. The problem with these is a lot of time, the eight usually works, but the number six, if you guys ever try to take pedals off, they're one of the hardest thing to get off. They're super tight. And when you use this and you strip it, there is nothing to hold on to this. You're done. You have to grind this and make grooves in it to do all the little tricks to get it out. That's what I prefer, a 15. Why metal? Why plastic? Why even cage? Well, the cage pedal back in the days, they just thought the cage one was lighter and it has all these teeth, there's more grips. Kind of yes and no, because it's been proven that these platform one grips just as good. But if you notice a lot of your peers, you notice a lot of your pros, they run plastic. Why is that? Some people say it's lighter. No, because I felt aluminum one that's very light. Demolition or magnesium, they're lightweight too. But the plastic one, it's easy to pedal grind on. You try to pedal grind on, on a pair of $100 pedals, this thing when it hits a ledge, it hits a metal, it hits a concrete, you're going to a dead stop. You're going to get some, you're going to get some dental work when you're going over that handlebar. Plastic, it'll just slide for all the pedal sliding, crank arm where you're half and half. That's the advantage of using plastic. Some of you guys would think, oh, plastic is cheap. No, these are actually really good plastic. The trail guys, they prefer to use the metal one just because they're more traditional. And it, in a sense, it does grip a little bit better, but not that much. But it's more the metal one, I believe. The trail guys, they're, they're more traditional and they like to run the metal platforms. These one right here, these really big forge one, the street guys run it. Some of the trail guy run it. This came before this and a lot of people grind on this thing and it just didn't grind as good. So that's why you, you see these kind, they, they faded out and then they just went to plastic. I mean, look at the selection of plastic and this is not even actually all the options. There's so much more. Plastic is actually the way to go. It does its job and all that. There are also different type of pedals. Like I, will, I like to talk about where people kind of have their own little gimmicks. One of the favorite thing that I've used is I've seen is this animal one. The animal one, why is this fascinating guys? Because look, it takes, it could come apart. This is a huge spindle. They use a bushing. This spindle is almost indestructible. But the cool thing I like about it is that if you put this one in and you tighten it into the crank, you could actually switch it around and do that. So you could have a different shape for a different feel. Now I know Kink also did something like that, which I don't understand why these type of pedal really never took off. So, I mean, think about this. If you went and you got two different pedal and you grind only on this side. So after you grind through it, you're gonna have to buy another set. And what does this thing do? It goes into the trash. It's pretty wasteful. But you have this where it goes in and you grind, you could actually buy single ones. So that's why I didn't understand why it never worked. Hey, price point? No, because because the the body, the body, I, if I recall, the body was like six bucks. Remember when they had the wedge pedal? Yeah, yeah. see? Like the JCPC where it has the, the removal body. I would have showed you guys this, but I don't have the whole complete pedal. It's a hybrid. You know, AKA the Denim Cox favorite pedal. But yeah, it has this too. Um, I think, I think there's a couple other companies out there that went, but the kink was the first one I saw and then the animal. I'm really into this. You gotta notice I'm spending a little bit of time talking about this and I, I wish somebody would come back with this. Hey Max. We should hey, do it. Weren't you, weren't you working on something like this for Colt? It's top secret. Oh, sorry guys, top secret. But yeah, Max was working on something like this for Colt. A lot so. of top secret things. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I kind of covered it all. If you guys got any questions, you guys got any beef or any correction, feel free, feel free. It's America. Actually, YouTube is all over the world. Educate me, because you know what? I don't know everything, and I love it when some of you guys go on there and correct me. 
because I'm learning as you guys are learning. Help me help you guys. So guys, subscribe to Alfredo so you can do more of this. Pick up some of his shirt and hey, everybody request these. But I don't have any more of these. We have the other ones also on Alfredo's and the Revolution Free Coaster. We're getting to that really good number, guys. Get the number up. For the guy that, who was the guy that said I was too cheap? <laughs> who was the guy? Damn you. I will cut this thing open just to show you. We're gonna do more work on this thing and we're gonna do a female conversion of this. Me and Alf, we're gonna do it our way. So you guys have to stay tuned. We will do that step by step and teach you guys how to do this. All right, guys, thank you for watching.